their expressions of sympathy and condolence to Ethel Kennedy and my mother and father and to the members of the Kennedy family could realize the strength and the hope that they have given to the members of the family during these last several days. We're deeply indebted to President Johnson and Mrs. Johnson for their words as well as their actions, and the Vice President of the United States for his assistance. And we've been consoled by His Holiness, Pope Paul, to the Secretary General of the United Nations, to the heads of states and many political leaders. But most of all, it's been the people, the people themselves with outstretched hands of sympathy and strength that have most touched the hearts of the members of my family. It's the ones who could give the least who have given the most. To those who have expressed their grief and who've raised their voices, to the members of our family, we will always be deeply grateful. To the thousands who filed through St. Patrick's and stood on the streets of New York, stood on that railroad embankment, the other thousands who stood in the rain in Washington, D.C. To those in California, the longshoremen that paused for a few minutes in their work, to the graduates and the commencement speakers in the Midwest, to those who offered prayers on the battleship Massachusetts in my own state of Massachusetts in Fall River, We'll never be able to express adequately in words our thanks, but we will in our deeds, in our public and private lives. And to those who began the campaign and carried on the campaign for the ideals which Robert Kennedy believed, that dream still remains. And those hopes still remain. And each of us will have to decide in a private way, in our own hearts, our own consciences, what we will do in the course of this summer and in future summers. And I know we'll choose why. They have the strength that their father has given them. We pray to God that the Lord will give them the help to carry on. I want to extend our thanks to uh, all of you who sent you, sent us your messages of condolence uh, during the time of our last bereavement. We know this sympathy came from your heart, and our hearts responded with deep appreciation. We cannot always understand the ways of Almighty God. The crosses which he sends us, the sacrifices which he demands of us. But we know his great goodness and his love. And we go on our way with no regret of the past, not looking backwards to the past, but we shall carry on with courage. Thank God.